Good afternoon, beautiful souls. Hope you are well in this crazy time of the earth. Woof. A lot of panicking going on out there. I hope you're staying calm. Meditate. Stay balanced so that you don't get swiped into all that drama, right? So this is your daily message from Spirit. Okay, we're going to get overall energy for the collective first. Spirit, give us true and precise messages for the collective, please. Overall energy that you want them to know that they're going through. On the bottom of the deck is the black cat with psychic. And here we have your third eye. Just look through your third eye and see things to come, knowing that the you know the light at the end of the tunnel, that this fear is an illusion. And your use your psychic abilities that spirit has given you, gifted to you. Here we have the court of initiation, knowing that you've gone through death and rebirth, many death and rebirths each day over this time in the last couple of weeks. And then after a death and a rebirth, you go through that same day is your, uh, the gate of ascension. And as long as you're, you know, you're being initiated, going through an initiation, that test, and as long as you're passing that test, you're going through that gate and ascending a little bit more each day. Um, at this time as the overall collective is. And as you're healing yourself, you're healing the collective. So keep doing the work. You're doing beautiful. The Court of Initiation. This also reminds me to uh, remind you to cut cords with those low vibrational people in your life, low vibrational or drama, things that are negative around you. And continue to uh, balance, come between the broomstick cleansing. Here it is a time of spring cleaning spiritually and physically, of course, in our homes, environment, especially with, you know, the germs out there. We want to make sure everything is clean and so forth. Without panic, just do it because it's, you know, it helps you to stay vibrant as well, keeping your area clean. Uh, cleanse your area space with some sage or palisanto. Also balancing between your masculine and feminine energy, uh, the your light and shadow side of self as well. Okay, Spirit gives true and precise messages for the collective. Their overall energy with the fairy deck, please. Overall energy for the collective that they're dealing with in the 3D. One more. I'm going to split it, pulling from the top. Thank you. So here we have the gotcha, which is a surprise, something that's coming up on you that you didn't plan for, but maybe energy was a little, uh, you're getting bored or you weren't following the path. Spirit kept poking at you saying, go this way, go this way, and maybe you were being stubborn and following another way. So gotcha fairy comes in and... Uh, causes a little chaos, causes a little havoc in our lives to uh, wake you up to tune in and take a moment and meditate to listen to your intuition, your third eye, your higher self to get back on your path. Okay. And here we have the pook. Pook always reminds me of uh, someone who's shining their light so brightly and you're doing magnificently shining your light, doing the work, healing yourself, meditating. You know, you're coming to the collective and sharing your energy with us. Um, and this is more than change. Change is a number five. This is a number six. So it's beyond change. This change is, this is beyond the change when you've lit up your, uh, and perhaps coming into knowledge of what your soul purpose is, what path you're going to follow. And as his eyes are kind of squinty there, it's like when you turn on the light in the morning and your eyes kind of like squint, right? Because you're shining your light so brightly, seeing the path ahead that it makes you almost squint because, and those around you, um, I hear that uh, your light is just so bright and you're doing magnificent work. In the recent past, Okay. 
Yeah, in the recent past, maybe there was some double energies, toxicity in our lives, right? The bad choices we've made, people that you had the toxicity near you or in your life you had to cut out. Um, this could be, you know, anything from a job, person, place, or things. It could even be a person in your life or a family member. But you've, uh, in the recent past, taken uh, responsibility, looked this in the eye, and perhaps walked away from this toxicity. Turned and moved forward with the Six of Swords. You moved on, oh, yeah, moved on away from toxicity and into the Six of Cups, something beautiful and uh, more prosperous, uh, something that you would radiate your light, something that heals your inner child, your financial or workplace. Got a lot of cups, a lot of love for your work, a lot of love for or passion for what you're doing. Thank you, Spirit. In the recent, uh, this is your career, right? Everybody doing their own thing, working. This reminds me of some energy. This is current, but you'll see how each one is doing their own thing. A lot of times in the workplace, we see this cup, uh, the three of cups being um, like the three-party situation, but in the workplace, apologize, my other phone's going off, and we're yet still working towards climbing that corporate ladder, right? But here I'm getting the energy that things are blossoming around you. You were doing the work, planting seeds. Mr. Gotcha came in and caused some havoc. Well, that's probably regardless, uh, depending on where you are in the United States or in the world, really. But uh, many of us, right, are in these uh, separation or some, some form of quarantining ourselves, right? Staying separate, still doing some form of work on yourself, on your passion, your sole purpose, but having to be quarantined individually. So currently in your workplace, maybe you're working from home, maybe you're having to stay that three feet away from your coworkers. And that's the energy that I'm getting with this card, uh, really, is that things down here on the side are still blooming. You planted those seeds. They're there. They're growing. Just know that even though at this time you're having to work from home or work, you know, in a separation as far as this quarantine goes, um, but things are still going to come to fruition for you. You are still going to receive the accolades for all the work you've done. Here is your Ten of Cups, your wish fulfillment. Um, that person in your life that's coming to together, that workplace, that uh, reminds this, uh, gets the energy of the, the partner for your sole purpose work, not just job, the matrix, the nine to five, but now's the time that you're able to come together in your own uh, work, start a new career, start an online job, start something new with your person, your partner. And this is going to make give you something to sing about, going to bring blossoms, something to celebrate. With you're going to have unconditional love for this person and your in this new work endeavor. And this is going to bring you to the Sun card. It's a beautiful card, twenty one. The the sun is here shining. This uh, white horse is uh, just basking in the sun. And that's what this is. Uh, while the blossoms of these sunflowers are all around, you have celebration of ribbons here, but the, you're going to have time to just bask in the sun and rejoice and celebrate at this time. Even if you're in home quarantine or not doing, you know, you're all, perhaps you're working from home, maybe you're not. But it's celebrate this time that uh, and allow yourself this moment of healing to, you know, heal yourself, get rested. Uh, even if you're not sick, I'm just saying heal your inner self. You know, do the meditations. Uh, stay focused. Don't get sucked into the fear. Don't get sucked into the drama on Facebook. In the current energy, spirit, for the collective, please. 24 hours from the time we see this message. 
I was hearing this morning when I do my meditation how long this uh, fear mongering I feel like it is uh, it's going to go on in the United States and it's probably going to be about what I heard was about 10 weeks uh, we're looking at um, 10 weeks for this virus to completely go through the United States we're going to come out of this just fine we just have to hold together um, and be a community together want that upside down. Okay, I'm going to pull your near future as well while I'm at it. Let those cards sit for a minute. Hopefully you can hear me. I don't know why I'm so quiet today. Had company in and out of the house. Three cards for the collective, please, for the near future. Three cards. For the Thank you. Thank you. And two advice. Three advice, sorry. That's four spirit. Alright, so we have here the Queen of Cups. The Queen of her world, being on her on her own, healing herself, being uh, working on her emotions. The cups is always emotions, love for self. And this is you, whether you're male or female. It's the Queen of Cups, being one of um, passion and emotion, healing yourself, loving yourself, um, and sharing that love and unconditional love and understanding with others. And perhaps it is through just encouraging them online through messaging etc the hangman here is that pause in time where you're t willingly taking um, yourself to see things from a higher perspective knowing that everything comes in divine timing this is something that you're not forced to do but something you willfully are doing look how joyful that is and they almost match in color how uh, almost a gypsy like it reminds me almost of like a circus or a fair energy in this these two cards not sure why today. Maybe because our lives feel like a bit of a circus right now. <laughs> but uh, just being yourself, being whimsical, right? Just allowing yourself the freedom while you're uh, in quarantine. You know, get yourself the some tarot cards if you don't have them. Do your own readings. Do Get on uh, Facebook or YouTube and start reading for others. Now is a perfect time for you while you're having to take a step away from the matrix anyways to uh, embody that and know that spirit will help you along the way. The wands, six of wands, balance. This is celebration uh, here is celebrating the opportunity to have this time at home. Take the time if you have kids at home, you know, plant a garden, do something with them that helps enrich their life while they're home and appreciate the time you have with them when they're not being fed the, you know, programmed information from the school systems. Here we have the five of wands in reverse. This is upright would be monkey mind, right? It's like this is one tree representing your mind and all this battling going on of your thoughts is in your head. But it's in reverse because at this time, you're ready to celebrate. You've seen things from a higher perspective. And there, you know there's no need to have that fear. There's no need for you to have that monkey mind and overanalyze things. That Spirit's going to protect you. He's going to bring you through this. Even if it's a something that starts hitting you financially, know that you know on the co um, community pages, uh, your neighbors are there to help you. Collective on these channels are there to help you just reach out. And we, we are here for each other during this time, right? Number nine of swords is sleepless nights, things that are coming, whispering in your ear. And this is spirit whispering in your ear, giving you those downloads to guide you uh, so that you don't have to worry about the uh, people stabbing you in the back or the toxicity in your life. Just 
allow this change to happen. Number nine of swords is almost that ending. Number 10 being the ending, right? It's that boom, you're out, you're done, you're down for the count. But number nine is you're resting and giving, uh, listening to what spirit is telling you. And this is going to bring you to the number nine of coins, celebration. This is going to be abundance in all things, right? You're going to see things from that higher perspective. Look at the colors also match here, right? We also have a body of water below here and here. So know that you're going to be abundant. Just look to your higher self for guidance. Look to your spirit guides as well. In the near future, I'll come back to clarify these. Okay, number 44, the sacrifice. You, maybe you do at this time, have to make a sacrifice of, you know, your job, your time, so that you can heal. Uh, sacrifice things that meant something to you. Sacrifice by cutting cords with those that are toxic in your life. In the near future, know that Spirit's going to give you bring that lightning bolt gift to you that you're something you're not expecting. Is not a this lightning bolt isn't the same as a tower where it was because you know this gift coming in to make great change. But this is a gift from Spirit saying, boom, that's something you're not expecting, but it just hits you like a bolt of lightning and is going to change things for the better in your life and know that number 10 is that ending we just talked about but the um everything has its cycle right the sun the moon it rises we trust and we know that it's always going to rise we know without a doubt in the morning somewhere that sun is going to rise even if we can't see it behind the clouds we know and the sun goes down the moon is there even again if we can't see it we know it's out there Having that faith, knowing that the cycle is going or ongoing and spirit uh, divinely guides them without our efforts. We don't have to do anything, just trust and have faith that that is occurring. And that's what spirit wants you to do with your own self. Sacrifice the fear, the doubt, have faith in yourself and trust that this is coming. And the rainbow at the end of this storm will be there. Number five, it will be different. It's going to change. There will be change. It's not going to be the way you thought it was, but know that the rainbow does come at the end of every storm. The taming of the winds. Wow, some powerful cards. for These are advice, a, wi a wisdom from Spirit 55. Five is again all about change. Taming the winds, the direction of the uh, winds. Um, but taming them is like taming the dragon within yourself. Things that might already normally get you fired up, give you that monkey mind, get, make you analyze things more than you need to, that you'd get, you know, all worried about. But by having the faith of the seasons coming through, you bring honor to yourself and to your ancestors, knowing that you trust that they're there with you as well. The Adrian Cross is the portal, that's that spiritual gate that we talked about earlier in the reading where you've gone through a death and rebirth, rebirth process. Um, for some of us, it's almost every day. There's a part of our spirit still, uh, or our soul going through a death and rebirth process, like an accelerated ascension almost. But after you go through that death and rebirth, then there's that initiation, the test, and then there's the Adrian cross. That's the portal, the gate that you have to go through. You have to be able to give thanks and gratitude to the spirits of each direction and know that when you go through that gate, things again are going to be different. They might not be what you thought they were going to be, but know that change is going to occur as you walk through that next gate, that, that Adrian cross. Know that your ancient ancestors are there with you, number one. They're guiding you all along this path. They're there on the other, on this side and on the other side of this portal cheering you on in a sense um, and they're with you through this uh, quarantine time through these difficult times uh, and over the next you know few weeks especially um, but just have faith that this is again just a season other sent 
centuries have gone through similar situations. Maybe this century we haven't had uh, this kind of situation to this drastic change. I mean, just a few years ago we had swine flu that kind of caused a pandemic, but it didn't hit us quite as hard as this one. Um, but 12, number three, time master. Know that time is irrelevant. Everything comes around and goes around, right? That's all I got for that. Oh, because Spirit's saying everything that goes around comes around. So this is about the March, the karma that was um, your good karma, the things you've done to earn yourself the, uh, the good karma. Not, this is not about the bad karma, but March was about the good karma, things that were uh, coming to you as gifts. And know that even while you may see this uh, quarantine or these job losses or illnesses as something that's um, dark and of the lower world, but on the contrary, that these are still going to bring rainbows at the end of the light. Things are going to work out. Even if our loved ones, uh, many of us will lose loved ones during this time, but know that they're passing the rainbow bridge to the other side. They'll reincarnate, right? And they'll continue their mission, their purpose. Clarification, please. Having the strength and the Queen of Cups is that unconditional love, right? That passion, the Queen of Cups is the emotion of loving themselves, but also having unconditional love for others. Having that strength, clarifying it, having the strength to do just that, have, to have unconditional love, to accept your person for the things that they've done wrong um, or their the way of their being for their toxicity, for your toxicity. Have the strength to forgive them as have unconditional love for yourself and for others. Here we have the cup, nine of cups, almost the ten of cups. You're almost there, but this is bringing you so much joy here that it's going to make you feel lifted in the air. And look at how both of these are lifted in the air. You're going to feel at some point today very high-spirited and joyous. Um, and this essence is very calm, right? Because they're just floating there in midair meditating, knowing that everything, looking at things from a higher perspective, knowing thing is everything is of divine timing. And here would that see how he's also floating in the air above things that are of the earthly, but spirit's still showering you with gifts and that you're meditating and turning to spirit for that guidance. Knowing that ten of swords, there's an ending to the uh, things that cause you harm before the Ten of Swords that stabbed you in the back, perhaps before, that caused you the fall, demise, to hit rock bottom. But now it's number six of wands, something to celebrate. Here we have the number ten of cups, also a celebration of this ending with the five of wands being in reverse. It is a time to celebrate because you know that you no longer need to have that monkey mind. You no longer need that fear that you know that it's only self-sabotaging, right? And that you've sacrificed your self-sabotaging ways so that you can always look, trust the cycles and look for the rainbows. And that Ten of Cups, knowing that the seed has been planted and it will grow, having faith once you put that seed in the dirt, having faith that it will turn to the plant in which will give bear fruit or vegetable. <laughs> the Nine of Swords, right? Those dreams, those nightmares. Here is again number five, changing those what those dreams mean. Perhaps before they were causing you fear, but know there's messages from spirit in your dreams. Five of Wands. So maybe you were having these and thinking they were nightmares and things of causing you uh, fear and harm, but know that there are messages in those dreams. Maybe they're only metaphorically uh, messages, but take something from them and see what is Spirit really trying to tell you? What is He really whispering in your ear when He shows you these images? Also, this Nine of Coins, knowing that, that everything is coming to fruition, your abundance in all things. Um, the moon energy is going to illuminate the 
negative, the drama, the lies on the other part person. They'll receive their own karma. You don't need to worry about it anymore. Know that you are safe on the side um, from all the drama because you uh, have already gone through this and Spirit is protecting you. Advice from Spirit? Thank you. Okay. Okay. I'm going to flip these backwards here. Even though Spirit's saying, even though you may feel captive at this time, number eight of swords, um, it's uh, your own mindset that's holding you captive. You're not captive. You're not, even if we have to be working from home or stay at home, maybe some of you are going to be on laid off because of these quarantines they're putting out there, right? But know that they are a blessing in disguise. They're a time for you to heal, a time to you to be safe as well. But from that drama and uh, the, you know, virus, whatever it is, but uh, that in your mind, you may feel captive, but be creative. So it's saying be creative with the sand painter here. It's about creating something and making something positive come of this time that you have. <laughs> know that near future, the union is coming. Union is uh, just around the corner um, at the end of March. What do you need to work on? The waiting game. <laughs> what do we need to work on? Knowing that everything is divine timing. How perfect is that, right? And of course. And the waiting, awaiting results. Maybe some of you are awaiting results, but for the rest of us, right? We're just waiting for this to, uh, to pass through. It's nothing more than another season. Something that's going to, you know, it's taking place. People are making it more dramatic than it is. Yes, people are going to die, but we know that Death just means like a new beginning, right? They're going to reincarnate a new life. So rest and reconsider how this uh, time is for you. Uh, rest and reconsider what you're making of the time that you have. And what is your soul purpose and what you're, are you doing to be in soul purpose and your mission? And, and this will help you to move on in your journey, all right, and to nurture yourself. Your ancestors around you. Grandmother Moon, self-reflection, inner rhythms and intuition. Listen to your intuition. Four is all about protection, knowing, knowing that your ancestors are there to protect you. They are going to guide you in this journey. Have self-reflection during this time and do the inner rhythms is like the rhythm of the moon, right? The cycles. Spirit guides want to, you to know. Sacred mountain. It's about the journey. It's about how you react and others react uh, that builds character during times. We build character during times like this. Um, it's all about the journey. It's the lessons we learn along the way about how we move on and know that everything uh, you should be working to bringing peace to every situation so if other people are building up and hyping up and trying to stir drama be the peacekeeper be the one that calms them down be the one to bring stability to and clarity to their minds right the lunar eclipse there is change of uh, coming number seven And the black moon Lilith, it, the future is a mystery, number three. The goddesses. The goddess of strength. Stand up for what you believe. You will give respect by holding, you will gain respect by holding your ground. An angel of clearing. Your time of waiting and confusion will soon be over. No more procrastinating. Your power comes from making this decision. Confusion that arises from overanalyzing the options. And what do we keep saying with the monkey mindset, right? Overanalyzing it. Put an end to it. 
help others to put an end to their monkey mind and overanalyzing as well. Children or childhood, the return of people or romance from your past, remembering events differently in a better or a worse light than how they really occurred. And the last card from, okay, start saying nope. <laughs> All right, come down. Being distracted and failing to see magical opportunities in every situation, taking someone or something for granted and being discontentment with life. Know that, look at this beautiful little cherub down here begging, please see me, please see me for the gift that I am, right? Enjoy the time with your children or grandchildren, time with the, or if you don't have any of those, then embrace and take this time to heal your inner child. Take everyone's input into consideration. Merge your viewpoints to create a better solution. Take your time. There is no need to rush, which is with everyone's viewpoint or uh, opinions into consideration still reminds me to help calm the, the drama, the, the hype over the situation that we're in at this time across the world, not just in the United States, right? This isn't just a U.S. situation. Of course, we already know that. The, uh, that it's across the world. So our hearts go out to them all uh, that have already lost many as it's just making its way through the U.S. This is what I have for you for today. I hope that you have a blessed afternoon. Namaste.